Legend of Total War here with part 6 of my Standard Steel 6.4 Let's Play campaign as the Byzantine Empire. Alright, so previously we've um, uh, conquered a considerable amount of uh, Italy. We've taken Genoa and Pisa. On our way to uh, Ajaccio. I don't know if it's Ajaccio or whatever. Pronunciation escapes me sometimes. Um, everyone's basically starting to declare war on us, which is what to expect with uh, Grackle AI. We have four enemies. Um, our biggest enemy at the moment, I think, is is Egypt, or the Fatimids, but uh, we seem to be handling them reasonably well. Um, what are you doing there? It, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, that's right, you were attacked out here. That's where we retreated to. The Turks are a, a minor threat. I think they've got a lot of territory, but we just don't know what it is. Anyway, we've got Alexandria like under siege, going. with a full stack. Let's take the city. Well, they've got the majority of their forces trying to take Jerusalem. Hopefully we'll take their core undefended settlements here in Egypt. Cutting off their ability to reinforce their armies and finance their aggressive war against us. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Funny thing, historically, the Byzantines were never able to recapture Egypt after it was lost to the Muslims. They were able to recapture Anatolia once or twice. Um, oh, that's right, I've only got ladders. Alright, so who am I going to use? I think I'll use, I'll use the cheaper units. Because they've only got cheap shit in there as well. Except for the general's bodyguard. But he won't be anywhere near the walls, I don't think. Alright, so you two over here. You can stay there. And you over here. Okay, so they've got all bases covered there, but we weren't able to deploy over here, but we can send someone over there now. Okay, so the Gazmuli can shoot from here, and here go the Spear Militia. And starts raining. I think there's actually another ladder somewhere. Didn't I build six or did I just build five? It doesn't matter. Okay. Let them get a bit, fair bit of distance before we go here. If they just get off the wall and when they go straight to it, they'll just come straight back up on the wall. Okay, so someone's coming around this way. So this spot here looks to be the least defended. Alright, good. Let's get these two over there. Yeah, if they want to shoot, that's absolutely fine. This could be a good opportunity as well to use the uh, the flamethrowers. But we've got to get them inside the walls first, in a situation where these guys are just going to be passive. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Okay, they're quickly making their way over here. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Oops. Okay, so I want you to run down over here. Okay, they're they're not on the walls, so we should be able to beat them quite hard oh, down the walls now. Good, they're coming off the wall. You come back over here. We'll put them in like a pincer position. Ok, 
Okay, a few shots into them, and then charge. Can't make it count right now. There we go. Good. A few kills. Make it much easier to break them. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay. Our, our guys shouldn't really have any problem fighting the, the militia This is in normal combat, but it would be better if we could break them. So that's one unit down. I don't think we took any casualties. If we made a big rush over here, we could, um... Hmm. Alright, let's do that. Surely... Surely two units of General's Bodyguard can take out two units of just basic Spear Militia. It should work. My Lord! Our men... My Lord! We have lost... No, 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 no. Don't fight them. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Sure, there's beer militia, but these guys are just way too high a tier for them. Just gotta break up their formation as much as possible. Which will lower their morale. They're pushing right into them. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Well, so much for using flamethrowers on them. I mean, this was effective as well, so. Use the flamethrowers another day. Pretty minimal casualties there as well. Like I said, the spear militia just don't stand a chance against against the Thanatoi. Oh fuck! I was even going to the wrong buddy. Okay, well it doesn't matter. Their infantry are gone now. Gotta go open this gate here. Maybe let the Gazmuli in so they can shoot the general's bodyguard. Here. 
Alright, so I want you to stand here and get into shield wall. So you two don't shoot. Just come over here. Doesn't matter if they're exhausted. It's best if he walks. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that does a reasonable job against, against them. Alright, so, shoot, shoot them. You stay nearby just to make sure he doesn't break. He's just one volley, takes him down by like half. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. They actually did really well there. Says our men no longer Stand command there. the city. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. <laughs> Motherfucker just doesn't want to die, but he will. The enemy general lies dead. This is a clear victory that goes to only... I'm quite happy with those results. They've lost an important settlement, essentially for nothing. We show little mercy. They deserve none. We must through but now the question is whether or not we can actually maintain victory. public order here. with a small garrison, because we've got to keep moving. Cairo is just over here with a larger garrison. And it's another minor city. Looks like they've actually sent an army over here to maybe try and deal with us. They can reach us here, but if we're standing on this point... Actually, that might be a bit too far away from the city. We might not be able to stand there. So the options are either Diameter or Cairo. We could sell yeah, but I think just just wait for them to attack. Yes. Uh, fuck off, papal states. Attacking on your command. Our fleet is victorious. Your orders. Joining our fleets, my lord. Right, so there's Cairo, and then there's a settlement down. Here. Looks so. I think historically Rome. Yeah, Rome would have had that at some point. So we'll take all of that. Okay, so. Let's see if we can leave behind just one unit of archers. Let me just see. Yes! Your Majesty. Here. Your Majesty. Got to keep Orders. my army organized. Orders. Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Huh. That's good. Keeps it under control. Alright, it might be an alright idea to actually recruit some merchants here now. Because it's very far away from the capital. How far away? 15%. That's not very far, actually. Well, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll make a profit out of it, maybe I won't. There's gold down here, isn't there? No, no, gold's over here. Alright, we'll, we'll just have to see how we go. Yes. If 
I were to attack that... Looks like I'd run out of movement, so I need to send the generals to besiege it first. Approaching, my lord. Command me. We march on our victims. Sooner or later. Yes? Onward. Bringing our groups together. Saracen militia are a hell of a lot better than spear militia because of their good morale. They just, they hold really well. So don't send the general's bodyguard up against them. The only way the general's bodyguard could beat them is in a field battle. Alright, so Genoa's I over here. Honorable engagement, dear foe. They're on their way to Baghdad. Fine by me, I mean, anyone damaging my enemies, it's all good with me. Alright, so, it's ready to go. My lord. Now with this situation, yes. it would be good if we take the settlement and then quickly get to Marseille and then just eliminate another faction. Another, another Italian faction. Because we've eliminated Venice and, um... And... And Sicily. Which is good. So your chivalry's quite good. Okay, let's get some more troops in here. Because those guys are really good troops. That's good. Um, Rome is already 51% um, Catholic Orthodox. So these guys here might be able to leave. What's this? Theologian's Guild. I don't think we need this here. Get rid of it. I'm sure we'll find plenty of Master Theologian gu Guild throughout our conquest. And if not, it's no big deal. Much more interested in Thieves Guilds. Alright, uh, wh wh where else are our armies? Can't do that this turn. Alright, our forces over here took a little bit of a beating. But we need to get moving. Where's the next place we should attack? Probably Yerevan. What's this here? East Azerbaijan. I think that settlement is over here. I think it's okay to take this area here, but definitely not this. This is this really pushes it. Oh, Hungary is already at Baghdad. This is why Hungary has not put up much of a fight. Because their bloody full stack is off fighting the Turks. I kind of hope the Turks push back the, the Hungarians here. That'd be good. I mean, I don't care who wins, but if, if the Hungarians win it now, well then these guys will just turn around and be like, well... Crusade's over, let's go sack Byzantine settlements. And I'm like, no, no, that's a bad, that's a bad motherfucker, you stay away. Name thy enemy, Lord. If we're gonna head back up this way, we can pick up some more troops at Tbilisi. Now, we're going to have to fortify the general area, because Cumans are gonna come down this way. So, if you oh, could send this guy... Yes. Your Majesty. He's got free upkeep. Why don't we send the Akontista instead? Let me strike, Maybe they can stay here another turn. Orders. Not, don't need to be too far away. Just stay there. Holding these lands tightly from this fort, and that'll buy us another Name another turn if they besiege it before they, before they get to Baku. Yeah, if we Let could... If we could leave. Yes. Can't leave without leaving a general behind, it seems, so. No, you're too important. What about you? Name thy enemy, Lord. Command me. Yes. Let me strike, my lord. Seventy percent's not too bad, and if we want to get it up further, we just do that. That'll that'll sort it out. Command me. I'd like to try and be a little bit um, sparing with my cash. And we also need to put a... Actually, if you put a forward here... We, march. Securing our grip on these we can send this guy over. I don't think it'll make a big Move difference out. here. 65%. But yeah, that'll provide an additional 15% public order. So that'll sort it out. Name thy enemy, Lord. Who do I face? Yes. And then these guys make their way back up to here. And we'll go to Yerevan, that way, in Armenia. Because I think our military, is our military the strongest in the world at the moment? Let's have a look. 
So overall ranking, mili oops, military ranking, let's go top five. So we have the strongest military. Now for a stainless steel 6.4 campaign on the hardest difficulty, that's bizarre because the AI usually gets a lot of money. What that tells us is that the AI has not yet had enough time to recruit all their troops. So it looks like the Moors and Egypt are the next strongest to us. We're, oh, and yeah, yeah, definitely the Moors and Egypt. We're already at war with the, with Egypt. It's all the Muslim and pagans. All right, that's fine. I, even, I would have thought the Holy Roman Empire would be on top. Let me just have a look. The Holy Roman Empire is at war with nobody. It's just got lots of allies. All right, so let's do some construction, then move on. So just once again, just looking at Rome, with all of that, um, with all that population growth happening, how close is it to? If he, if he stays here a little while longer, um, he'll contribute to it becoming a large city. That would be very useful for us. So let's let's increase the population growth a little bit further. What's going to do that? It's not going to do anything. Okay, that'll increase the population growth by another 0.5%, bring it to 3.5%. That might just be enough to get there, but it's also quick to build. The school itself is not really that needed. Suppose we could drop taxes here now. Do we need that? Won't help with population growth, but I think we'll get to uh, castle level even without this. Um, but it will knock off. Oh, look, we don't really need that much money. Just leave it. It's better to get the population growth. I only build those in, in like in desperate situations, and they really should just be a temporary building. Go with um, let's go with some growth. We've got a good military at the moment. We don't need to focus too much on on building up more armies. Let's let's try and increase our economy further. I'm sure that'll come in handy in the long run. So Antioch's public order is pretty good. I'd like to get this to large city as soon as possible. So we need things that's going to provide population growth. But also public order. So council chambers is good for that. Be good if we can manage to start constructing in every settlement. Start with all the cheap things that's going to provide long-term growth. And Alexandria needs Orthodox religion. Good. So I mean that cost us a fair bit of money. A lot of the money probably came from sacking settlements, but we're we're still making reasonable. We're making about um, twelve thousand a turn. So we, yeah. At this rate here, we will spend more than we earn. We'll, we'll end up with no treasury again if we keep this up, but it's all right. Got to invest money to make money. Okay, we can actually take Tunis. Not a valuable city. Okay, let me just see here. These guys here can't move. I'd like to get them over here to support them. And I'm sure the Moors will declare war on us soon, so we need to keep heading west. Alright, let's do this. I think we'll take quite a few casualties on this because we, just, we don't have a good army and they've got a good defensive position. And it's also not a very valuable settlement. But we'll take it. Maybe one day it will be valuable. Alright, I'm going to send these three. 
around the side here. And we'll just see how we go. Let's try first to get through the gate. I mean, there's no boiling oil here, so why not? Just in case this ram here burns, send a secondary ram. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. So first order of business once the gates are down, fucking slaughter these desert archers. Men have done well. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Alright, if we can catch them off the area, that would be good. Um, how about you two just run back for the time being? I say no. They're already in. They're just going to get shot in the back, so just get in here. If you attack them down here, maybe that'll draw them off. Off the wall, I mean. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a war. Every last one of them needs to get off the wall before the cavalry will attack them. Okay, let's send another guy up here to help fight. It's kind of funny we're using our archers in melee, but. This is just sort of a fixing force at the moment. Oh shit, what's this? Desert Cavalry. It's a lot of Desert Cavalry. Come on, you can take him out. At least they're not firing their javelins. If they were firing their javelins, we'd be in big trouble. I think there's two battalions in here. Take him out. Don't let them get away. Catch them in the ass. Try and break them if you can. Sometimes move orders can actually be faster than pursue the orders. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, so these desert archers are fucked. Good. God, they're not very good at running down units, are they? Still, there's only another one spear militia in here. Get rid of these damn archers. I've got no long range archers, so let's just send you over here to fight them. I don't think my guy here will win, but he'll damage them enough that then you can go in and finish them off. to him, because otherwise he'll break. Okay, just make sure. Keep an eye on him, so he doesn't get killed. And what does he do? Go straight into the thickest part of the combat. Get the fuck out of it. Our Lord, our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men. At least we charged in there, but still, a general charged right into the thick of it. In our favor, 
If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I need you to be protected. Okay, seems to be getting out of it now. That's good, that's what we want to see. Let his bodyguards take the damage. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, I mean, he can take probably a little bit more damage, but still. Best if he doesn't. They seem to have this under control now. What curses! Our men no longer can all of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won. Considering what we had and what they had, I'm happy with that. Two to one kill ratio. Uh, blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yeah, yours, we'll probably have to stay here once again for a little while. But that's okay. At least we're in here nice and early. And we can, we can start spreading Christianity here. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do this turn. So let's quick save it just in case. And move on to the next turn. That's it, that's what we want. We want them to head over to Baghdad, leave me the fuck alone. Okay, so, oops. Okay, the problem here is that there's a lot of men on, there's a lot of like ladders and stuff. We want to try and stop them from utilizing that try to go through the gate so that we can use utilize the flamethrowers because that works very nicely they don't have much cavalry so you going out there might work and they go for archers they don't have any it's all just melee infantry too bad our, our army is a bit of a dog's breakfast This needs a little bit of reorganization. Hmm. Could be tricky to try and get them off of all of that. Good. So you stand over here. Get all of them off the wall just for the time being. You stand here. So with you, you can fire the entire time. That should be fine. So what we need them to do is... Sort of like, just stay here, try to prevent them from coming over here to attack them, and just allow them to like, burn this entire lane here. Right, so, these five units will be rushing out to try and knock off these ladders and these siege towers. And to go and harass their general. You have to move fast. I think you would be best off charging into them. I 
Uh, don't don't fire at will. Got other things we can do. No doubt. Shit. Oh good, yeah, they charged into it. Okay, good, they dropped that. And they broke that, that's good. Right over here. No, 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 not the ram, not the ram, not the ram. Before sunset, but our men are winning the battles and forging a worthy victory. You go out this way. Get out here. Okay, so. They've dropped all of their equipment, they'll probably go pick up that ram next. If I had to guess. Okay, our cavalry seem to have made it out of the city. Or out of this out of the shit. Somewhat. I mean we took a few casualties, but. They dropped their equipment. What are they doing next? If they pick up the ladders, then our plan fails. At least they're getting shot while all this shit's going on. Okay, good, they've picked up another ram. That's what we want. Okay, here comes the Arab cavalry, that's good. Now we can put them on fire at will. So, you two, start coming around over here. You could charge in these, because I don't know why, but my guys over here, they're not shooting very well. Try to get rid of these desert cavalry. No, hang on. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy of ammo, yeah. Oh, that's why they weren't really paying attention to me. I forgot to turn them off. Bloody skirmish mode. Okay, well, well that's lucky that whoever was chasing us got killed, because I wasn't really able to pay attention to it fully. Just run them off the battlefield, because they're nothing but a nuisance. The desert cavalry should be as good as gone. So, see them take some casualties. If we kill the general, it's going to be so easy to finish Saints, them off. Save us! The enemy are battering down the gates. General lies dead. Good riddance to that desert dog. Pray his death will break his immense resolve. The battle is in our favor. Right, we shouldn't we need to worry about, about them recovering. There's too few of them left. The hours. And now we just wait. So these guys out here, just wait. So they'll capture any guys that run away. Alright, we'll just do it. Doesn't really matter that they weren't firing. Because these guys here, they're going to do all the real damage. This is here just to soften them up a little bit.
Holy Mother of God! The enemy's ram is through our gates! Here we go. So they've got no cavalry left. That's certainly going to be good for us. Don't start shooting just yet. God save us! The enemy right had the walls! Look to our defense, or all will be lost. Okay, just, okay, just, just one or two units of flame. Things of flame for, for the time being. Don't want to waste all of our ammunition. A lot of guys coming through here. Trying to burn your own troops. It's the most important thing. The battle is in our favor. So we can win it without these we guys. We remain true and wholehearted. Victory will be ours. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Ah, so the, the Kurds want to stay out here. Just keep shooting. Well, that's fine, they're getting boiling oil poured on them. If you charge into them, I reckon they'll break. Moment here. Why they take damage? Stop! Just stop firing. You don't need to now. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Who's they trying to shoot at? All right, maybe you guys should come over here because they don't. They don't seem to want to come inside. So we'll stand about there and just burn them this way. More Nubian spears. Okay, they're out of ammo. But if you have a look at all the blackened corpses, they definitely did their worth. I'm, I'm sure if we charge into the Nubian spears, it'll just break. In fact, why don't you guys just just push them away now? It's time for the battle to be over. Okay, they didn't just break. The enemy flees the battle! So Run we lost 13% of our forces. Not too bad. If we had sallied out, we probably would have lost a lot more than that. We also need to take into account the men that died during the starvation process. The enemy are overcome. Ten to one kill ratio. I'm happy with that. It's going to severely weaken the Egyptian forces. Very good. Preparing an ambush. 
Yeah, I figured they might try something like this, but this actually could be to my advantage. Depends on what they're bringing over here, so that's easy. Because we've got a lot of, excuse me, a lot of heavy cavalry. That's very easy to kill. Then, that's also super easy. But what's this other big army? No general, but there's a lot of desert cavalry in there. Our archers will have a easy time killing them. Alright. So we need to make a... We need to make sure we position ourselves on the right, because on the left is where they're going to be coming from. So they'll be coming from, from our left flank. I'd rather not get flanked. So let's go stand over here. It's the army that's coming from this direction here that I'm most concerned about. If I could just find a good position. I don't really like fighting in any sort of trees. Even though this is not really a big deal there. Okay. Could put them out in front. I don't like to put them in shield well wall all the time because they, they can't cover as much area when they do that. So you just stay out here for the time being. And you stay here. And the cavalry will go charging up the hill here to go crush the first and the second army. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. You can get rid of that catapult. Charge into those desert archers, your job's to go around the back of them. It's not good to be charging up the hill, maybe I should have waited for them to get off the hill, but fuck it, we don't have time to wait around. It's not, it's not that steep of a slope anyway. Okay, you charge into here, because he'll have them locked down at the front. The general should be in this unit here. If we can charge into him and kill him, it is unwise to praise we'll the easily break the rest sunset, of their forces. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. But the problem is these guys, you know, they're a little bit slow. Sort of protected by the rock, but our men have slain go. the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. But they're still not quite breaking. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. You come over here, try and hit this guy in the flank. Run him down. I want every last one of them dead. This is a great opportunity to absolutely crush the Egyptian military. Flees the battle. We've got Run the right down kind of army for it. Worthless peasants. Still says the balance of power is about equal. See what it says after we've crushed this force here. That's good, they're sort of running around, that means they're going to be fairly tired. Alright, 
These three here are done. Someone's going to have to go get rid of the catapult. The catapult is probably the most dangerous unit. The rest of these, not so dangerous. Come on, you slow shit. Don't get outrun by bloody infantry. I don't care if you're damn tired. Run them down. Kick the horses in their balls for all I care. Get them moving. I wish I had some light cavalry. That'd be okay, look, that, that's enough. We only need to kill 85%. We're probably killed like 98%. Sorry about them. Actually, we'll get you to charge into the catapults. You get charged into that Saracen militia, and you'll charge into the other Saracen militia. So we we'll probably need to cycle charge. And it doesn't help that we're a little bit tired. They've gone stationary, so I don't know. Luckily, it's incredibly inaccurate. Yeah, they're Saracens. They're able to resist charges pretty damn well. But nobody can resist a horse sandwich. Or except for Swiss Pike, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, but they, they were too slow on up there. Okay, the catapult's been taken out. Okay, you come over here and just harass them a little bit. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Let me take out the speed militia first, they'll be easy. Okay, the catapult seems to be completely gone. Come on, give us a proper charger to them. They're fucking around. They have to completely form up it seems. This over here. It is unwise no, to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a world. Yeah, slow. Come on, move it. The enemy, other other enemies, ages away. Okay, good. With them broken, the oh, sorry, with the general dead, dark. should be a lot easier Death to break these guys. Break no, no, no. Aim for this one here. It's wavering as well. Just dead. Charge it there. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Good. There's just a handful of troops left. Just these two. Oh, you're out of ammo. Okay, that's good enough. Get ready to come out here and charge them. These guys here are getting shot to shit by a Gazmuli, but I actually want the Gazmuli to stop because they're not going to have any ammunition for the, for the actual main threat. If you want to burn them, the 
Enemy the enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless pests! The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. And there we wait. Wait for them to get over here. Alright, so that's two of their armies crushed. But of course, 50% of their forces were in this other army. But that's okay. Because a lot of them are desert cavalry and we shouldn't have any problem with them. This also gives them a bit of a chance to rest. What the fuck are they doing? They're seriously dicking around. I mean, they're on the attack, so I can just take my time. Like I said, it gives us a chance to rest. These guys here, even if we gave them about 20 minutes rest, they probably still get, won't even get to fresh. So we just sit here and wait. I can afford to be patient. Oh, hang on. No, some of these guys are... This one here is getting better. The fuck are they doing? Shit. Actually, good target practice for you. They're slowly moving forward, but it seems like they take a step forward, reform, and then take another step forward. If they had rushed us right from the start, they would have actually given us such a hard time. But now I'm... I'm rested. Oh, wow. I underestimated... Uh, their ability to recover their fatigue. Look, these two are actually fresh. What the fuck are they doing? Alright, look, if they're gonna do this, then we can take the fight to them, but I'm not fucking fighting them up the hill. So we'll have to we'll have to move up to here first. And we'll walk. Because the Gazmuli will easily outrange them, but I, you know, like I said, I don't want to be shooting up a hill. These guys here can afford to run because they'll, they'll actually recover their fatigue reasonably well. Fuck it, I don't have, I don't have time for this shit. Let's get over here. It's not far for them to run. Just need to get on with it. Okay, seems like they're coming now. Nope, they still just want to stand there. They're the ones on the attack and they want to be defensive. We'll just let our guys have a bit of a rest and then we'll move forward. Bloody staring contest. If we were to outright charge them, we'd easily win. I gotta conserve my forces. It's, it, I can't get any of these troops down here. 
And this is probably not going to be the last of the Egyptians that we're going to fight. They've probably got another full stack waiting for us. So it'd be, it would be in our best interest if our army was in good shape. Alright, let's start moving forward. three on the flanks over here. Actually, you come over here. Just be a lot easier to organize if I keep it this way. So they have desert archers. Yeah, they do. Okay. Right, well, then I'll take the crossbows, move them over here where the desert archers aren't, to go and shoot desert cavalry. Because that's my main concern right now. If we can get rid of the desert cavalry, my cavalry will easily tear apart the other units. Okay, there we go. But now they're now they're coming out. It's like motherfucker. Um, all right. Cavalry, go charge them. I want my guys Muli alive. But they're probably gonna get fucked by this. Yeah, see, they're getting fucked up. Could you bloody move it already? Fucking AI. They're on the attack and they, they had to camp. Wait for me to bloody move forward. That, that desert cavalry can do a lot of damage. Alright, you guys start moving around over here. The battle is in I wish I had some favor. faster cavalry. This, this just can't catch them. Victory will be Gotta ours. keep shooting them. I, got I even told them to go in a different direction and they just didn't do it. They're really unresponsive. Over here seems to be going well because we didn't have to break formation. Okay, enough of that. Get over here. Just ignore the desert cavalry now. Their infantry is actually the big concern. around this way. You might charge them. Too slow. Still, even if one man charges through them, they'd like get through the whole file and rank. There we go. Charge into that. Oh no, the Gazmuli are under attack. Yes, I mean, I really like the Gazmuli. I mean, whatever. If this is their big prize, then so be it. They, they still lose Cairo. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Get it back here. Charge over there. It's okay if they're if they're routing and they're getting captured. That means I get them back. But I'll probably have to merge them into just one unit now, which is annoying. But you know. They had a lot of really fast cavalry, and I'm too busy crushing all their other infantry over here. It's 
suppose these guys here didn't get a chance to shoot. Charging these Cyrus militia, it should finish them off. I mean, the real strength of my army is definitely the, the cavalry. So, losing against Mulu, they could be a bit of a glass cannon. They get into melee, they're, they're not strong. Praise the Almighty! Our okay, fairly sure we've got them. Let's just make sure. They're not targeting them properly, it's fine. The enemy dead, dead, and dead. And we lost, almost, actually lost 22% of our forces. Oh, but, where is it? Prisoners taken. 47, so that actually accounts for quite a bit. Oh, we'll have to merge them into just one unit. But that's okay. Hiding our forces from enemy eyes, my... <laughs> And they do not want to give Jerusalem one moment's rest, do they? But that doesn't really matter because we've just taken their capital of Cairo. The enemy lays it. What shall we do? Not sure if I'll be able to defend that. To the walls. We are besieged. We tore them apart, my lord. Victory! There stood no chance. I have silenced them. They're definitely losing this war very badly. I'm glad they didn't declare war. If you want a peace treaty, I'll accept it. Nope. The King of Hungary is dead, so I'm guessing he got he got smashed at Baghdad. Thieves Guild in Rome, sounds good. Even the the, the level one Thieves Guild does provide some lore, so it's quite useful. I do like to have lore and order. So looking at Baghdad, yeah, they got crushed over there. Well, good. I will not waste words on you, infidel. So Alexandria's public order is not great, but it's it'll hold. Alright, we've got a merchant here. Before I forget about it, let's see. 81 Florins. What kind of merchant is he? Level 3. I know, sugar seems to be the best option, but it's... Opening trade it's, it's not a lot of money. Alright, what else you got? Your As my lord wills, we march to battle. If they attack us, we've got a reasonable chance of victory. Okay, they'll make they'll make for a great fort. Your orders, noble one. Yes. We shall not surrender this position, my lord. Your orders, number one. Actually, could we leave here? Orders, Let's see. One. If I was to leave, just one unit of Conterratory. Maybe if we just wait a few more turns, Your I might need to build the gallows one. there. Okay, it's under control, but probably just because there's a large army in here, so just merge orders. that. Yes! Yes. It's too much, uh, too few troops in there for us not to go and attack it. Name but at the same time, they've got 
considerable forces down here. Considerable as in, if I was to leave behind a small garrison, they'd retake the city. Can't let that happen, so I'll send the cavalry to go deal with them. Yes! We march on our victims. My major concern is the de desert cavalry. Alright, let's do this. Waste no time as sparing enemies this day, man. It's because we can't catch them very easily. Alright, if they could charge at us up this hill, that could be advantageous to us. No, they're not going to do that. They're, they've taken a high ground to position themselves. Alright, so here's what we do in this situation. Send these guys to go harass them. They'll get sick of it, and they'll charge at me. Ideally. Either that or they'll just, they'll just like, accept the fact that we don't have much ammo, and then just take it. So we don't want to go too close to the desert cavalry because they'll out skirmish us. Actually, this could be a good opportunity. Where is it? Oh, look, they've, they've come straight for us. Okay, what are we going to do? Get ahead of them. So they've got nowhere to run to. Okay, run them off the map. Is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. All right, good. With them gone, we have the maneuverability advantage now. That was very silly of them to send that unit in by itself, but it worked out very nicely for me. So what we'll do is we'll approach the hill from both sides and then just just bonsai charge in like a fucking madman. Our cataphract will just bowl right over them. And now we've got the high ground and we'll charge down at them, rather than up the hill. The problem is it costs us a bit of fatigue, but we'll be fine. Ah, oh, they have Kurdish javelin men. I thought, I thought we had done with all their missile units, but that's not a big deal. In fact, that's actually a weakness in their army right now. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Our army is tiring. Hold over those units, that's good. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Charge them. I don't know which one the general's in. It doesn't really matter though. If you could just Give them a love tap right at the back, they might break. Cool that a charge. Come on, you slow fox. Come 
Okay, on the initial charge, these guys are amazing, but cycle charging with them can be fucking pulling teeth. Trying to get out of here now. How do we go for kills? Well, we're not we're not quite at 85% yet. I don't have to fight any of these fuckers again. Shit, you. you keep running them down. It is unwise to praise the day before some. Okay, it says we're at 89%, but some of them may have already gotten away, like the um, desert victory. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push him! Or at least they're not camels. Alright, there we go. This is a clear Good day, Crush. Now, hopefully, the cavalry can still make it to um, the other castle up north. Wonderful place to stage is ah! right, good. And the infantry they can make it as well. Good. Who do I face? Yes. Orders. Let me strike, my lord. Okay, just suddenly become quite dreadful. Okay, public order here isn't great. But how much of it is because of garrison? Okay, even if we took out the entire garrison it should be fine. So if we leave behind yes. just one unit of archers, seventy percent. Okay, that's good. Let's build a small Orthodox church. Command me. Actually, you know what? You can stay behind. Just look after it for a short time. March. Let me strike, my lord. Approaching, my lord. There's no one here. We shall send them to hell or worse. Taking out this castle. Now we have them. We'll stop them from recruiting considerable forces, although we really need to take out Gaza. If we want to stop the assaults on Jerusalem. But if we have a look at this now, the Fatimids should be yeah, plummeting. Militarily, they're nowhere even close to us now. They're fucked. They couldn't possibly hope to win this war. Your orders? Just protect yourself for the time being. Yes, my lord. I don't desperately need these guys over here right now. Okay, so we've still got this battle over here to do, but I might save it ne till next time, just because there's always a chance that it might crash. And for it to crash after all of this, for such a small battle, it would really piss me off. So anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe, part 7 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.